Hello, I'm Retro Jules. Welcome to episode one of my Eureka series, a brand new series. And as it says in the title, these are Eureka moments. These are little light bulb moments where I suddenly get an idea, good or bad, don't necessarily think it through, but I come up with an idea that I think could improve the game or make a difference. And I make a video of it, and you guys can let me know exactly what you think down below. But I've taken it a step further because I think that some of these ideas are actually quite good. Well, I would do because they're my ideas. But I've been in contact with Raybot in North America. She's on the admin team at head office in America and she's in charge, well her title is Developer Player Experience. She's the lady that can take ideas, players ideas, and implement them into the game and takes people's general criticisms and comments and she then forwards that as an idea and sometimes that can be implemented in the game or sometimes things can be taken out of the game. So I've been in contact with her, she's a really nice lady and she likes tanking and she likes cats. So actually she ticks quite a lot of boxes for me. I asked her if she would be happy to have a look at these ideas as I bring them out and she said absolutely. So I will also be sending her a link to these videos too. I'm really looking forward to showing you guys these, these little videos. Sometimes they'll be short, sometimes they'll be long. Sometimes you may think, what were you thinking? They are just ideas and I am just throwing them out there, not always thinking them right through. And then, you know, you guys can put your comments in. This is Eureka number one. Tank accuracy, also known as dispersion. The size of your reticle. You get a statistic on your tank and it might be 0.38 if it's a Bulldog, 0.34 if it's a T62A or an amazing 0.29 if it's a tier 10 Leo. That figure is a radius, 0.34 of a meter at a 100 meter distance, which actually equates to a 0.68 or 0.7 diameter. It denotes the size of the circle, reticle, that your shot will land in when it is fired. And of course, if you're 200 meters away, it doubles. If you're 300 meters away, it triples. The further away, the more inaccurate your shot is, the more likely it is to go whizzing by your target. And as you move around, your reticle plumes, the circle gets bigger, even more chance of your shot being inaccurate. Your shot is designed to land somewhere within that circle and there are algorithms in the background which denote where they go. I think 20% of the shots are more or less in the center and then the percentages change and there's a random number generator which will denote which part of that circle, reticle, your shot will land in. So I don't have a problem with that, but do you ever aim at a target, you're in an auto loader, you're reloading and your target isn't moving and you're not moving the reticle either. And I would say that if you are aiming at that tank for a long period of time, it should be a guaranteed hit. You know, we're dealing with tanks here. They, they are known for that accuracy. And as with a gun or with a cannon, the longer you aim it for, the steadier the shot, the more accurate it should be. And sometimes you're reloading, you've not, you've not moved, that tank hasn't moved, and your shot goes whistling by and you're like, oh, bugger, I was aiming at that for ages. So I think there could be an algorithm change whereby if you're aiming for, say, five or six seconds and you don't move your reticle and the enemy tank doesn't move, I would say that that should be an absolutely 100% accurate shot. You know, and may maybe that figure can change. Maybe it should be eight seconds. But I'm just saying, if, if you are aiming for a very long period of time 
and your tank doesn't move, I think that shot should be a very, very accurate shot. And of course, the side effect of this would be that if you knew that was going to happen as an enemy tank, you wouldn't hang around. If you'd been spotted or you were taking a shot, you probably wouldn't hang around because you're thinking, well, if I sit here for five or six seconds and somebody's aiming at me, they are going to hit me. So that's my idea. What do you think? A guaranteed tank hit on a certain period of aiming without any movement. Well, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of this series and let me know if you'd like to see some more bright or dull ideas. In the meantime, I would like a gun that does over 300,000 damage per shot. Keep safe, keep tanking, and I'll see you soon.